Hello, my name is Joanna, and like the title says, today we will be making no bake biscuit cake. All we need are a few ingredients chocolate, coffee, milk, cocoa powder, sugar, Maria crackers. We will start with one third of a cup of water, and we're going to warm the water up. Once it's warm, you're going to add one third of a tablespoon of instant coffee and we're going to lower the temperature we are going to mix well so you're basically making coffee we're going to turn this off we're going to set this one aside on the same saucepan we're going to add half a cup of milk a tablespoon of cocoa 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 Cocoa, one tablespoon of sugar, and mix until there is zero lumps. Now we're going to let it boil. Alrighty, while well this is boiling, we're going to put one third of a cup of chocolate on a bowl. And then we're going to pour this on top of those chocolates. Okay, now we're gonna turn it off and we're going to set it aside and let it simmer for another two minutes. Once you have let it simmer, we're going to pour them on our chocolate and this will melt the chocolate and we will mix. This is where I'm going to put our um, biscuit cake. Here we have the chocolate. I'm probably going to put it in the microwave just because I don't see the consistency that I'm looking for. This is our coffee from earlier. Okay, here we have our Maria cookies. I don't know what's happening. The more I burn it, the thicker it becomes. Well, so this is how it goes. You're going to grab a cookie. You're going to dip it in the coffee. And you're gonna set it. And you just wanna coat them. If you dip them for too long, then this may break the cookie. The way I wanna make it is one cookie and then chocolate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use more milk. There it is. That's kind of more what it needs to look like. I think maybe I heat up too much. Okay, but yeah, basically this is the idea. Put the cookie, and then we're going to put one tablespoon. Okay, and we just basically layer up. And I don't know if you can tell, but the cookie is kind of like the element of surprise. All surrounded by chocolate. Kind of like a Kit Kat, but like mm. homemade. So I would recommend if you're going to make this recipe, you might want to make probably double of everything. But there's something else to do. Let me put these away. We still have to cover these with aluminum foil. Okay, and now we're going to put this in the fridge for four to five hours. And I'll see you then. Alrighty, once you have waited four to five hours, you can take them out of the fridge. Alrighty, so let's open them. They're done. I don't know how hard it's going to be to try to eat them with a fork. Oh, it's not that hard. Wow. It's actually, it was really soft. Oof, I really like it. It's different. It's got kind of a, um, it's gonna like mousse like. The recipe is super easy to make. The only issue I have with the recipe is that it's not that much. I will only be able to feed four guests. So if you have four guests, this is perfect. Alrighty guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that's nice. Comment below what you think I should be trying next. And thanks a lot, eh?